substantial number of patients with epilepsy, we don't know where the seizures are coming from. And in those patients, we need to implant probes or electrodes in the brain to identify the seizure areas. We're one of the first sites uh, in, the, in this country, um, in this continent really, to start using a technique called robotic stereoelectroencephalography. We're using a, a robot, we implant these probes that look uh, like this. They're exceedingly fine um, electrodes. Uh, but this, this probe is 0.8 millimeters in diameter that go through a small bolt that gets anchored into the patient's skull. And then these electrodes record from the patient's brain for a certain duration of time, typically a week or 10 days. So our project over this past year has been to automate or like computationally do this process of inserting probes into the brain. And these probes collect data on drug-resistant epileptic patients so that surgeons can decipher what part of the brain to remove to kind of reduce seizures over time. So our job was instead of having a doctor hand calculate this for about four to eight hours going through CT scans and other um, ideas of trying to figure out where to put the probes into the brain, we decided to, with their um, suggestions, to take this as a computational program that just runs it through for about 30 seconds to identify where the optimal regions are to insert these probes. It was not trivial for sure. Um, one of the hardest things throughout the course of this project um, that Dr. Tandon really wanted us to focus on was that we wanted to highlight um, the patient's vasculature and make that a real portion of our project and kind of optimizing these trajectories based off of that. Um, and getting our hands off of that data was really, really challenging. Um, since we didn't really have access to the proper scans and that took a considerable amount of computational effort. And then developing our um, repository of past uh, patient implants and probes in order to optimize around some training data set um, took a lot of legwork. I haven't been too much of like a medical person. I like blood and stuff gets me squeamish but you know ever since I came to Rice you know I kind of had this interest in if I ever did something medically it would be something computational. This is the, the perfect project for me because it was letting me put all of my computational skills to use and being able to see like real results and having a tool that can actually be used for specific patients that was really rewarding.